Yulia, have you heard of ramen life before? Hmm, I've only heard about ramen, the food. Let's hear from Tomoya Takeda about his ramen life. Welcome to the stage, Tomoya. My My ramen story started when I was just three years old. I ate ramen in my grandfather's house every Sunday. The taste and flavor was soy sauce flavor and only cabbage toppings. It was simple, but since it was my first ramen, so it remains in my memory. Another memory was eating ramen with my family. So the taste was simple too. But my father often put rice into the soup. We ate it with a spoon. This is a new style of eating it. You can't eat that style at the ramen shop, but only at home. So, <coughs> I wanted to try it, but I haven't tried it recently. Actually, I don't really like its appearance, but I know it's delicious. So they are both good memories for me. Here, I will introduce my ramen rule. My rule is to drink as much ramen soup as possible. I mean, the taste of soup is the taste of ramen. So I think it's rude not to drink the soup. But this is just my opinion. Please ignore it if we want to. Let's get back to the main topic here. My new habit of eating ramen started 15 years later. When my friends and I started going to a ramen shop by car in Nara, Osaka, and Wakayama, so we could go to different shops. At first, I only enjoyed the flavor, but, only, but after going many times, I, I found I enjoyed talking with friends about hobbies and other things. So I noticed I noticed, I noticed by eating ramen many times, I could build a community of friends. When I found that as my, my friendship with my friends became stronger. I so these times of eating ramen and talking with friends have, have made many great relationships for me. I recommend you Try it so that you can make many friends too. It's okay, the reason isn't ramen. I think making it your hobby is the best reason. I'm shy and don't talk to people, so I don't have many opportunities to interact with people. So I, but I believe the hobby connects with me, connects people, connects me with people. By sharing the hobbies, you can make yourself to not. You can make not to the other person, and it will lead to, lead to a closer relationship. So I think it's the best way to present yourself to the others. I have made many memories and have made many friends through ramen. Ramen, ramen has made me happy and will always make me happy. This, this one sounds like something you say to your girlfriends or boyfriends. I end by saying one last thing. I love ramen. I am loved by ramen. Thank you for listening to my ramen story.